Welcome to Aquatech. This installation video is for the Enduraplex pressure sewer system. Step 1. Identifying the tank location. Prior to beginning installation installers should meet with the relevant decision maker on site. Their input will help to identify and decide the best location for the pressure sewer system. The discharge sewer point from the house should have suitable grade to the inlet point on the pressure sewer tank in accordance with local plumbing codes. Ideally within 10 meters of the control panel location and within line of sight. Step 2. Unpacking the pressure sewer system. When the system arrives on site, cut the packaging and unload the loose items. Any lifting from personnel should take into consideration health and safety requirements. The tank can be easily transported to the install location using the handles on both sides. Once all items are unloaded, ensure to dispose of all the packaging material left behind. Step 3. Reading the install manuals and marking out tank location. Read through the manuals provided thoroughly to familiarize yourself with the installation procedure, including concrete ballast requirements. Mark center point of tank location, then use a level to mark lines measuring 1.1 meters square. Remove the pump and other items from the carton. Check that the tank is level and measure the overall height to determine excavation depth. Please take into account the 100mm bedding sand requirement and that the lid is to finish 50mm above the finished surface level. Step 4. Excavation Procedure Before excavation, call dial before you dig to avoid disrupting existing services. Using a small excavator, dig or core the hole for the tank, using the marks and measurements from Step 3. Once excavation is complete, backfill with required amount of bedding sand as per the instructions. The bedding sand needs to be leveled at the correct depth prior to installing the pressure sewer tank into the hole. Step 5. Inlet Pipe Setup Measure the inlet stub penetration, so the inlet pipe protrudes approximately 50 mm into the chamber. Place the uni seal provided with the system on the stub and tighten. There are two methods of inlet. Method 1 is direct connection to the sewer drainage. Method 2 involves installing an inspection shaft prior to the tank. Cut the pipe in line with the neck of the tank and insert the end cap to complete inlet configuration. Step 6. Tank installation. Lower the tank into the excavation using a certified lifting sling connected to the lifting handles. Make sure the tank is sitting balanced and level on top of the compacted bedding sand and fill the tank with water up to the underside of the inlet to prevent flotation. Place the required amount of quick-set concrete bags around the hole as per ballast calculations and spread evenly around the tank while spraying with water to set the concrete. Install lid by loosening the bolt and then placing into the neck groove and pushing down firmly. Commence backfill as per the ballast sticker to surface level. Step 7. Installing the discharge line and boundary connection kit, or BCK for short. Ensure the hole is a suitable depth, so the BCK lid is the same height as the finished surface level. Scrape compacted sand to create a stable base. Place a concrete tile on top of the sand to support the BCK pit. Check this level again before proceeding. Put the BCK pit face down on the concrete tile and check the lid height with the finished surface level. 
Use a large level to determine where the discharge line will meet the BCK and mark this on the pit. Apply thread seal tape to the fitting and connect to the tank. Apply thread seal tape to the fittings provided with the BCK and screw fitting into the valve assembly. Use fittings to attach a length of 40mm PN16 polyethylene pipe to the tank outlet and BCK. To complete this step place the BCK pit over the valve assembly. Step 8. Installing the conduit to the control panel. Core a hole in the side of the tank at the designated location to accommodate the conduit. Insert the rubber seal or gland into the tank. Apply lubricant to the end of the conduit and insert it into the rubber seal through the tank wall, protruding a maximum of 50 mm. Mark the proposed path of the conduit from the tank to the control panel location. Dig the path for the conduit at the required depth to guarantee minimum coverage. Run the conduit to the control panel location on the wall and pull the electrical cables through. Ensure the final length of the conduit running up the wall is level and mark out the holes to drill, then fix the conduit to the wall using saddles as required. Step 9. Installing the control panel. Open the Omni Smart Control Panel packaging and read the controller installation instructions. Mark out the location to mount the panel. Remove the backing plate from the panel and mark its intended location on the wall. Drill holes in the backing plate at each of the specified points ready for installation. Do not bring any penetrations through the back of the control panel as this will void warranty. Place the backing plate on the wall, ensuring it is level, then trace holes for drilling into the wall. Once all holes are drilled, insert screws through the backing plate and tighten by hand. Mark the bottom of the panel where the cables will penetrate. Drill and insert glands. Attach the Omni Smart control panel firmly and securely over the backing plate on the wall using the screws provided. Feed the wires through the control panel and tighten the cable glands. Connect the wires to terminals using the wiring diagram and leave them isolated, ready for commissioning. Finally fit the mechanical protection. Step 10A Internal Level Control Pump Installation After reading the instructions, screw the flexible hose into the pump's discharge fitting. Use a net to remove any debris from the chamber of the tank. Plug the quick disconnect power cable into the pump's body and tighten with the bolts provided. Using an Aquatec pump lifting trolley or equivalent is recommended to install the pump. Lower the pump into the chamber, avoiding pipework or cables. Place the excess rope and cable length on the tank hooks and connect the hose cam lock to the outlet. Tighten the lock on the lid and seal by pressing down firmly. This completes the installation of the pressure sewer system.